some of us have made mistakes of neglecting to sow seeds of mercy in the past as it is right now there is nobody in your life who thinks you are a blessing enough for them to stake their life to support you it's a risk you cannot live in today's world that way if you don't help yourself you are gone nobody can help you if your hands are tied you are finished nobody can say i remember you if no one can trace you to their lifting you are in trouble but the beautiful thing about seeds is you can start where you are he told abraham from where thou art lift up your eyes so it's a lesson we are going to pray because if you look back there is no life you have raised there is nobody you have helped you've not sown seeds to anybody's life nobody has gone to school because you are alive nobody has known jesus because you are alive no discouraged person has found strength because you are alive nobody could co could complete his rent because you got a job it's too risky it's too risky you are going to pray lord by your spirit bring people who are worthy of help bring people who don't just pray and say send helpers for me be the helper first grace to raise people grace to sow seeds of mercy lord bring the people that i can begin to invest in it may not be monitoring it may be an advice it may be a revelation you help someone to strengthen their relationship with jesus you help someone to fund their skills you must edge the impact i show you a powerful secret this morning that your 10 years can be secured your 20 years can be secured because like the good samaritan do you think that certain man when he becomes healed when he becomes strong will he ever forget the good samaritan hallelujah listen i remember someone sending me a text one time and said apostle i don't call you father just because of your spiritual impact in my life i lost my father many years ago he was saying but you have held my hand and you have helped me and done everything a father should do i remember crying that night reading that text i'm not a very emotional person but there are text messages that touch me apostle you're a mighty man of god lord take the glory and i turn and face my work apostle i got healed after your prayer wonderful but apostle thank you for changing my life while i was crying you were there now that is what that is what breaks me and i just sit and say lord thank you that if i die today my only regret will be that i didn't finish my assignment but let it be that i can still live in those who are alive like abel though dead yet speaketh it is not just the longevity of your living but the quality people can carry you in their minds they carry you in their memories their books are full of your name they never say anything about their life without mentioning your impact truthfully so they would teach their children any day you see this man and see his children bless him i pray for you in the name of jesus the son of the living god the grace to walk in the wisdom that mercy provides may that grace be released upon you in the name of jesus that the lesson that we have learned from the good samaritan this parable that jesus gave may you not make the mistake of the priest may you not make the mistake of the levite in the name of jesus may your life be full of investments of mercy and compassion may your days be full of investments of mercy and compassion may your children eat from it may those connected to you eat from it in the name of jesus christ and i pray for you listen to me for those of you who have made the mistake of sowing trouble in your future by the way you have treated people in the past by the way you have treated families in the past by the things you have said about people the things you have done to people some of you they are your parents some of you they are your relatives some of them they are men and women of god some of them they are your pastors they are your leaders in the name of jesus the 
the tragedy that you have programmed to happen in your future we intersect with the mercy of God let it not come to pass that the things listen the things that people have said in anger because of something you may have done in the name of Jesus Christ may the mercy of God intercept for you your children will not be victims of any speaking that was against you and I pray for you there are people here who are suffering the wickedness the Bible says that um, the fathers have sinned and how did he put the scripture yes there are families here you even had to change your surname because the names seem to be padlocks and when they identify you with that name and that family it comes with memories they say which one which of these names the one I know yes you will not get this job again not when I'm alive I pray for you everything around your foundation that has come as a result of the ill doings of people and you have been connected through it by bloodline at this mercy conference let the blood speak for you in the name of Jesus let the blood speak for you every door that has been closed because seeds of mercy were not sown in the past we declare again may God give you a fresh start by the power of the Holy Spirit you leave this service and in the name of Jesus you will begin to command extraordinary results in the name of Jesus Christ